My name is Amy Woosler, and I'm a senior in computer engineering. And I'm gonna be showing you around Eaton Hall, which houses a majority of the labs for the EECS department. Here we are at the Liquid Galaxy, which was provided to the School of Engineering by electrical engineering alumni and Google Earth co-founder, Brian McClendon. Not only did he provide this Liquid Galaxy to the school, but he is also a research professor here at KU, and he has office hours for students to come and talk to him throughout the day about their projects and their entrepreneurship abilities. And he also worked on previous projects for the University of Kansas, including the CV Key app. Here we are in Eaton Hall on the third floor. The posters behind me highlight the senior design projects of computer science students, electrical engineering students, and computer engineering students. For the capstone, computer science students have an entire year to determine what project they want to work on. For computer engineering, the first semester consists of two smaller projects that focus on electrical and computer design. Then in the second semester, computer engineering students can decide what project they want to work on, whether that be an industry project, whether that be a project with a professor or with a lab on campus. Electrical engineering is very similar to the computer engineering capstone for seniors. These posters encapsulate all of that for the senior design projects. They are talking about the system overall, and this is the documentation portion of it that simulates what you would actually do at a company when working on an engineering project. Here we are at the MinCow Design Studios. One of the co-founders of Garmin has a huge presence here at the University of Kansas. These are also where the senior design capstones take place. There's a ton of equipment in these labs that is really helpful for completing the projects, including the oscilloscopes, the function generators, the power supplies, and the loads. These are all really important for completing our computer engineering project of a linear regulated power supply. This is important for a lot of our current electronics to be able to function correctly and have the right amount of voltage. We went about doing this by creating a schematic on PSPICE, and then once it simulated correctly on PSPICE, we were able to build it in a breadboard to prototype. Once we were done prototyping, we moved it to a, a board where we soldered all the components on and tested it once again to make sure we had the correct output voltage. Here we are at the EECS shop, which is unique to these majors and the fact that you can check out tools, testing equipment, and other parts. Something else that's unique about the EECS shop is there is an in-house milling machine to create circuit boards that are fabricated to the individual project that can be used for senior design to enhance the project. Here we are at one of the Jayhawk Motorsports combustion cars. Jayhawk Motorsports is a student organization that builds Formula SAE cars. They build one combustion and one electric. These two cars are perfect for students who are looking for opportunities to enhance their skills in electrical engineering, computer engineering, or computer science. This is a perfect student organization for students who want to get experience in project management, design, and working on a team. Here we are in M2 Sec at the anechoic chamber, which is designed to absorb the reflections of the sound or electromagnetic waves. The space is predominantly used by Cresis, which is the center for remote sensing of ice sheets. They use it for the development and testing of devices, including radar. This is also used for other research purposes for frequency emitting devices. With the anechoic chamber being unique to the region, it makes it highly desirable for companies to rent it out for their own use. This helps cultivate partnerships between KU and the research labs. Here we are in the fishbowl. There are ECS specific computers that have Linux on them to work on your programming one and two projects and all of your other classes that you may need a computer. It's open 24 hours a day and you can come in and work on a Windows computer or you can work on a Linux computer for your electrical engineering classes and also your computer science classes. Additionally, in the same area, we have free printing for all engineering students with just a swipe of your KUID. Thank you for watching my tour of the ECS department and the School of Engineering. We have lots of exciting research and projects going on. We hope to see you here soon at KU.